all right guys we are getting ready to head out to late lunch early dinner so it's like a dinner <laughs> date to the Bellevue which used to be Tavern on Rush so we're going there for the first time since they've changed the name we've been to Tavern on Rush before but since they changed the name this will be our first time going in so I thought I would share with you guys what I'm wearing because I always forget to do <laughs> outfit of the days so I'm wearing this navy blue dress it's a maxi dress i'll link it below super affordable i also have it in black and i have it in a light blue color too that's how much i love it it's like the perfect knit maxi dress and it has pockets i love this i love just throwing on these little dresses for days like today when we're just going out we'll probably go for a walk afterwards it's very comfortable very lightweight and breathable which is why i have it in so many colors because it's just so good so that's what i'm wearing today i'm probably gonna throw on my tan tory birch slides i'm also switching up my fragrance today i'm gonna wear the joe malone star magnolia my fragrance of the day and i'm carrying my Negetti. I shared it with you guys in my Nordstrom haul. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. But I love this bag. It's the perfect summer little tote bag and it just goes with everything. So I'm going to bring that with me and sunnies are going to be my little cheapy sunnies and I need to wipe them clean. But I figured since they were blue, had a little blue tint to them that they would go well with the dress so yeah this is my ootd so yeah that's what i'm wearing i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting myself together and then we're gonna head to the restaurant so see you guys at the restaurant all right bye
everyone. <laughs> Talking to the camera. Say good morning. So today I am going to a nail appointment, but I'm going to a new nail salon. It's called 7 a.m. Nails. I want to check them out for a while. So I made an appointment and I'm going to go today. They also do the buy out nails builder in a bottle which i feel like is something that i desperately need because my nails are so weak from getting gel from so many years which is why i want to make this switch to a more natural nail salon so i'm just getting ready now i'm just wearing a black tank i got my jean shirt tied around my waist and i'm just wearing some wide leg like workout pants. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna head to the nail salon. I'm so excited. I met the owner. She's so sweet, so nice. She said I can record in there if I want to. So I thought I'd bring you guys with me. So let's go to the nail salon. guys back from the nail salon she did such a good job I'm so happy with how my nails turned out I love the color I just went pink per usual I'll leave the polish name link below it's by OPI I love the salon it's so nice it's so clean it's just all the aesthetics so pretty and so nice the owner is the sweetest lady ever she's so sweet she sat down and talked to me while i was getting my nails done yeah i was just a really really nice experience and i will definitely be back um so i'll leave the nail salon linked below they also have um like a membership which i think is really cool and i'm thinking about doing that because it's pretty cost efficient when you think about it um she was just explaining to me about the um the membership program that they have so i think that's really nice i really like my nails you guys probably can't see it that well it's so gloomy today i just made my second cup of coffee i'm about to drink this and i got some editing that i need to do i so yeah i'm gonna do some editing and catch up on the or try to catch up on the Atlanta Housewives I don't know I don't know about you guys but I'm just having a hard time watching the Atlanta Housewives this season I don't know what it is but I can't pinpoint what it is I, you know Kenya really annoys me it's just so messy and I don't know it's just it's petty mess and I feel like at their big age they should not be like going at it over this petty stuff. I know it's for TV. I know it's for our entertainment. However, it's like gosh season after season it's the same petty drama. And so I've just been having a hard time watching it which is why I'm like two or three episodes behind. But what I have been watching is Black Mirror on Netflix. If you guys have not watched that, it's such a good series. Each episode is a different like series of events. Like, um, but it's basically about AI. Each episode is just highlighting different types of AI and it is just so, I'm really intrigued by this whole AI thing. And so, 
Yeah, I've been watching that. PK and I just finished watching Class of 09, which is another really good series. That's on Hulu, also about AI. And I'm trying to get him into Black Mirror. I was talking to him about it this morning, just, you know, trying to hype it up for him because you got to hype stuff up for men sometimes because they think that you know most men think all we watch is like Love Island and Married at First Sight and BS like that but I'm like no it's really good so I'm trying to talk him into getting into Black Mirror so we can watch that together and surprisingly we just started 24 over now i've never been a 24 watcher never pk has watched every single episode of 24 he is a jack bauer fan my mom used to always talk about 24 and i never got into it just never got into it and recently he was like you want to watch 24 over with me i was like sure and so we're literally on season one <laughs> like episode nine and it's so crazy just seeing like the technology back then that was supposed to be like super cool and super innovative versus now and so I'm just looking forward to like binge watching at 24 I think it's 10 seasons maybe each season is like 24 episodes which is unheard of today like I, you would never catch a any show that has 24 episodes in one season. So I'm just interested in seeing how they kind of evolve over the years, but I'm really into it. It's kind of like our like nighttime show that we watch when we put PJ down. So we watch that literally till we fall asleep. And so that's been cool. What else am I watching? That's it. That's all I'm watching really. I'm not watching a lot. I also get asked about um, like YouTube and what I watch on YouTube and Surprisingly enough, I don't watch YouTube at all. I watch the people that I like, people that I consider like my friends, like people that are like close to me, which is very few. I'm subscribed to a lot of people um, just out of support, but I don't watch YouTube like that. It's I, and I'm I'm sure I am the minority in this because this is kind of like what I do on a day to day. When I'm done, like when I upload my videos, I shut everything down. Like I don't want to watch any YouTube. I don't want to see any YouTube. I go on my phone and I reply to my comments in the YouTube studio. It's separate. It's kind of like our behind the scenes of YouTube. So I don't even do my comments on YouTube. I do it in the YouTube studio just because I need the separation and so I really don't watch a lot of YouTube and the YouTube people that I do watch most of you all are subscribed to them too <laughs> and I'm usually shouting them out here and there but yeah I'm just not a YouTube person I just don't watch YouTube like that I like to watch like real TV like series and, and like shows and stuff like that but I'm not big on on YouTube at all which I know is is so crazy because I know a lot of people that do YouTube are obsessed with everything YouTube and I am not I just upload bye I don't like talky vlogs and videos and that's probably why I don't watch a lot of YouTube and that's why I tell people here like when people say certain things about my videos that they don't like I'm like you know you can just skip through that part you don't have you're not forced to sit and watch that part just hit fast forward I fully support my friends on YouTube and my people on YouTube like the ads run I don't skip ads and part of that is because I do this and so I know what how that helps and so I don't skip ads I'm usually watching a YouTube video while I'm doing the dishes while I'm cooking dinner I'll just put my pods in and just kind of let it go so I'm usually not in a position where I can skip because I'm like my hands are either dirty uh, food on them I'm taking PJ out the high chair I'm cutting up chicken or something so I just kind of just put it on let it play ads and all and it doesn't bother me so I don't watch a lot of YouTube but I'm gonna go <laughs> and edit this part down because I'm sure it is oh my god 11 minutes and 25 okay yeah we gotta go you guys will probably not see a lot of what I just said because it's just, just too too much talking I'm a doer I like to do stuff I like to show you guys stuff I'm not 
I'm not the talky talky type. So let me go. All right. <laughs>
like just little throw on jackets was it's 70 now but it was 60 this morning so i went on zara and got him a few things so i got him this little windbreaker jacket in this like brown color and it's lined with gray and i got him a size three four he can totally fit it but he'll be able to wear it going into fall this year which will be nice and so i got this it comes with the hood and i like the color on this too i also got him this little jean jacket just buttons up the front also got this in a three four just a light wash little jean jacket with a hood very lightweight perfect for just keeping in my bag to pull out if I, he needs to put on like a little jacket while we're out if we're out late and it gets cool he'll have a little jacket so got that and then i saw this zara they're good because when you pick an item it'll give you a list of other things that kind of match with this item or things that other people have purchased with this item and i fell for it so i got him this cute little t-shirt it has a little lion on it and I thought this would be cute with anything, um, but I thought it would be cute with this jacket. And so I'll probably have him wear this with like some like black shorts, or he even has some shorts that are like this cream color. And he can wear like his little natives with it. So yeah, I just thought that was cute. I like that little t-shirt. And then this came separate. Hold on. So he's gonna be starting swim class <laughs> tomorrow actually. So I wanted to get him some little swim stuff. So I picked this like little rash guard swimsuit up for him. It's got like alligators all over it. Super cute, it zips. So I got that for him. And then I also got him a pair of these little blue and white striped shorts. I thought those were really cute and again I thought you know this with a blue or like a white t-shirt with the denim jacket would be cute together and so yeah got that for him because he he's just getting so big y'all and what's funny is like last year Sefton got so much summer stuff. He got stuff from his dad. He got stuff from me. And when I was packing his bag before he left to go, because his dad bought a lot of his summer stuff last year, a size too big, and Sefton literally slimmed down and just got taller, he could fit all of that stuff. So he's like wearing all tens now. <laughs> and so everything that I bought for him last summer, he can still fit, which is awesome. So I haven't really had to buy Seth much of anything besides like little stuff here and there. He got a new pair of shoes. He can still fit his swim trunks, but I am going to get him another pair of swim trunks too. I'm going to get him and PJ a matching pair again like I did last year because PJ can't fit his, I don't think. So it's been great. So... Yeah, Sefton is set for the summer. And of course, while he's there with his dad, I'm sure he's buying him stuff. And my mom is probably buying him stuff. Like, I'm sure he'll come home with a load of stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to wait until he gets home to do inventory and see what he has, what he's left, because I'm sure he's, he's going to leave some stuff behind. Then whatever he needs, you know, little outfits for like when we go out to eat and stuff like that when I want him to kind of look nicer I'll pick him up some stuff then but yeah I was shocked he's like good to go for the summer that worked out great PJ on the other hand he's a little ham like he, he can't fit anything from last year I literally took all of his jogging pants and cut them into shorts because that's where we are now like he can still fit them like they still fit in the waist but he's tall and they all look like high waters and so I just cut them I actually like them as shorts like a lot of his like little joggers that he had they they look better as shorts than they did as jogging pants so got that stuff for PJ and then I ordered a bunch of stuff for his like swim bag uh, 
from Amazon. And I'm waiting on that stuff to come because I'm just going to do, just like I did with Seth when he was in swim school, um, I kept a bag packed for him at all times just so it's ready to go. So I got a bunch of stuff. From, I got a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got a confirmation for my hair appointment this week. So I'm like making sure I put that in my calendar so I don't forget. Uh, Amazon. So I've gotten confirmation that a lot of the stuff has shipped. I'm hoping at least the main things that I need arrive today. Uh, but I got them like a new water bottle. Um, I got them a, like a towel, like a poncho towel. And I got wet bag for like swimming suit package is out for delivery okay so one package out for two packages out for delivery okay so we're good okay so everything will be here today with the exception of one thing and that's fine because i don't really need it for tomorrow but the other stuff i want to have in the bag ready to go and i'm just going to use my long chomp black tote that's kind of like a all-purpose bag <laughs> pk was like should we get him like his own swim bag i was like no he can just use the long jump bag i'm gonna be in the water with him don't ask me how that happened but i'm cool with it <laughs> it's just one day a week for 30 minutes uh and i had to do the same thing with seth so the best part though this time around is that i'll have help <laughs> this time when I was taking Seth to swim class, it was just me. I was just doing it all on my own. Doing the swim class, after swim class, changing, getting new clean clothes on, it was a lot. So I'm so grateful, so grateful that I have the support that I have. And once we're done, I can just like pass him off to his dad. He'll get him ready. I can get myself cleaned up, ready to go. That's gonna be nice. What else? That's it. I'm still loving my nails. Let me see if I can show you guys. They're so cute. I love the shape. I'm a square round girl. My old nail tech always made my nails round and it would drive me crazy. He does such a good job, but he's just, he doesn't listen a lot of the time when I'm asking him to do stuff. This girl really listened to me and she nailed it. So I love my nails so much and I can't wait to go back. Oh, also, did get one of the cards i had mentioned to you guys that they do the um membership so the membership is 99 dollars per month you get 25 percent off on all services you get two services per month you get free jail removal because they charge for jail removal it's like ten dollars so you get free jail removal free dazzle dry upgrade freeze or cancel at any time and you get a birthday gift from 7 a.m. So I think, I really think I'm going to do this because this seems like a nice little deal. They open as early as 7 a.m., hence the name. That's, I mean, that in itself is a game changer. Imagine, like, being able to go get your nails done before you go to the, to the office or go to work. And they do the biop nails at that salon, too. They do Builder in a Bottle. I think I'm gonna get that next time I go because I've heard really good things about that. But here is the card with the information. If you guys wanna screenshot, I'll also link it below. And they have a little QR code there. So yeah, they have four locations here in Chicago. It was actually recommended to me by one of you guys when I first moved here and I was looking for a nail salon. Someone had sent me a message and recommended them to me. Then I ended up finding the salon that I went to and I just, didn't go but happy that i did go and try them out because i really like the nail salon so i'll definitely be back so now i'm just going to make me a little coffee my little afternoon coffee a little iced coffee pick up a little bit here we got art stuff pj did his little coloring this morning after he had his breakfast I gotta put these few little dishes in a dishwasher. I gotta unload the dishwasher. I gotta put these clothes up. So I just got a little stuff that I need to do around the house. And then later, we're gonna go out to dinner. Probably be in the next vlog since I already included a restaurant in this vlog for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's just gonna be a really relaxing afternoon. 
I'm gonna go get my stuff done that I need to get done so that I can have a relaxing rest of the day. And I will catch you guys later. finish the dishes now i'm going to wipe down the stove and sweep and do a little mopping in here we got a new swiffer swiffer power mop and yeah so far i'm really liking it sweep up the floor a little bit and then just go over it with the swiffer after i do the stove and that'll be it for the cleaning today for me Thank you.